You don't like garlic bread? I do. No, you don't. I do. Three-year-old Blake Turnbull has been on a wait list to see a pediatric gastroenterologist for two years for an unknown tissue on her liver. The family was told the wait time could be six years. But now, the gastroenterologist, Dr. Simone Nickel, is leaving the province, so her wait is indefinite. It's stressful and it creates a lot of anxiety. Sarah Turnbull is frustrated and met with the health minister last year. He said that it was a priority and that he was working on it. But that was when we had two. Then we had one and now we have zero. So if, if you're going by the score, we are not doing better. We're doing much, much worse. The Ministry of Health declined an interview but says recruitment and retention of physicians is a top priority. Dr. Nikhil referred us to Saskatchewan Health Authority and it confirms she would be closing her practice as of May 12th but would not comment on specifics due to privacy legislation. Some parents empathize with Dr. Nikhil and says she was under a lot of pressure as the only specialist in the province. Both of Lisa Glein's daughters have a liver condition that results in horrible itching. She is worried their medicine supply could be disrupted without a gastroenterologist to write a prescription. Without it, it was waking up in the morning with blood on her bed sheets from scratching and open wounds and scars and just really, <laughs> it's a difficult thing to watch a child. She says she foresaw this doctor shortage and looked out of province. Now, she flies her daughters to the hospital for sick kids in Toronto. This is not a new problem. This has been going on for years. We're always looking for new people. Um, but the status quo isn't cutting it. It's not filling the gaps. The SHA says it's working with the provinces to implement a remote service delivery plan. But the parents we spoke to say they don't understand what that means, whether they will be flown out of province or a doctor will be brought in. Pratish Tyal, CBC News, Saskatoon.